Hey crew, heading out for another snorkel. We've got to wade out at low tide again. We're going to a couple of the reefs in front of the resort, around the corner. I think it was Osprey Reef or something like that. Osprey Head or Reef. And then Turtle Beach we're going to check out because Andy hasn't been there for a number of years. So we've got to wade out through this. Swimming. She's gonna go luck, luck the island. <laughs> That'll take a while, wouldn't it? Far out. I'll be back in 20. <laughs> yeah. Hours. <laughs> yeah. Alright, see you on the boat. Hey guys, we're here at Turtle Beach. Now you can only access this place pretty much from the water. As you see behind us, big cliffs. Now it was really shallow getting in, little channels I had to follow, but we just parked out there. See? And there. Uh, bunch of people out there. The unfortunate thing is this. This reef isn't so good. We just had a quick drop in. I know Andy said he hadn't seen, hadn't been back here for a little bit, so he wanted to check out what was going on. So when you compare this to, for example, Osprey Island where we just were, it's two worlds of difference. This is just still completely, complete rubble really in comparison. Um, it's a cool spot. There's no doubt about it, this little beach, but the coral isn't so good, so. Some of it recovers, some not so much. So we've seen the resilience of looking at North Point where we've got beautiful, beautiful corals that are, you know, six years since the back-to-back -back cyclones, category four cyclones that hit, and then the bleaching in 2016. And, and sometimes the result is just absolutely um, rubble wasteland, no corals, still fish around, just no corals. But um, this one is definitely the opposite little bit of coral recovery small little plates out there and soft corals and some beautiful scrolling montipora but um, other than that not too much to report on hey guys thought i'd do another check-in we just prepped for dinner we've got a barbecue down on the beach today for dinner uh, it's a little bit getting a little bit sad because we're in the final few days we're heading up cook's look tomorrow um, and then I think we've got a couple more snorkels to go, but other than that, the trip's coming to an end, which is sad because when you have a place like this, you don't really want to leave, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So it's Saturday, Easter Saturday today, um, and I'm just enjoying as the sun's going down, probably won't have a very good sunset due to the clouds on the horizon, but at least we're here and we can enjoy. What a day to summit. All right, we've just started a Cook's Look Walk. It takes about 45 minutes to get up. The crew's all in front of me, got Mel behind me.
Sydney, 2,210 kilometres. kilometres from Cairns and we're out here up at Cook's Look, the place where Captain Cook came and used this lookout to navigate his way through the reefs. Now it's not a beautiful clear day as it has been on previous days but out here all the ribbon reefs, all of the ribbon reefs. Now he used this place, Captain Cook and his crew paddled over here, climbed up this to the lookout and used it to navigate out of the Great Barrier Reef. Um, you also can't see it, but out there past the reefs is mainly Queensland. Cairns about just over 200 k's away where we flew from to get to Lizard Island. Uh, the most interesting thing up here is this incredibly sacred site for the Aboriginals. Um, we can't actually go any further here because there are these rock structures that are orientated in positions that they believe the Aboriginals use them to um, uh, find their way to certain reefs and navigate in the night time. We're very lucky to be up here in the footsteps of Captain Cook. Such a beautiful day, it's a bit windy and hopefully you can hear me but we've got the whole group up here. It's a long walk, it's very hot in some places but we're leaving now, leaving nothing but footprints. I'll take you around to the crew. incredible snorkel we did Vicky's reef just then which we weren't too sure how it was gonna be because Andy hadn't visited in a couple of years but as you can see from the clips it was gorgeous plenty of small fish we've got a full moon tonight so all the fish are settling back on the reef and you can see tiny little baby fish all settled on and big corals and that was gorgeous nice spot thoroughly enjoyed that one so got pizza night tonight and then a seminar at 8 p.m. So, game on. This is our last full day, so we saw a beautiful, we had a lot of rain this morning, so there's awesome waterfall coming down when we arrived at Watson's Wharf. Um, 
which I don't think any people have seen before because you don't often see so much fresh water landing on an island and then forming an actual rain, uh, waterfall, so that was cool. We're heading out this afternoon. It could possibly be our last snorkel because we're all flying out tomorrow on um, different flights and um, everything like that. So um, probably one one more time in the water, um, and then we'll be off and, off and flying.